Hey everyone, welcome back to Grace Fuels Families. Today you've only got Steve here because this is uh, for the lads. So if you want to have a passionate, on fire, grace fueled marriage, stick around because I'm going to give you three simple keys that as blokes we can keep our marriages on check and on fire for Jesus. So stick around and we'll uh, talk through it. All right, guys, so for this video, I thought I'd stick with cliche and get into the shed because that's where all guys do all things and it's an important spot to be. Arr, arr, arr. So yeah, let's get into it. Three things that'll help you stay on track with your marriage that'll get you flourishing uh, and in tip-top shape. Uh, there are a lot more, but these are just three that I've pulled out for today. Uh, so stick around if you want to hear them all. Number one. The first thing that I'm going to say is that you need to be pursuing your wife every single day. Think back to the times where you were dating. Think back to early marriage, pre-kids. Uh, and this wasn't necessarily hard, particularly in dating. It wasn't a hard thing to do. You wanted to woo her all the time, you know, be extravagant with your love and your gifts and the way that you cared for her and spoke to her and all those sorts of things. Pursue your wife every day single day. She is your treasure. She's your uh, right hand woman and she is absolutely amazing uh, if she's anything like Nicole is. Um, and so I really want to encourage you, pursue every single day. What I do, uh, just a couple of things I do every day. Um, I have a job that's pretty demanding at the moment. And so uh, during the day, Nicole knows that if she gets a text message from me and not just a what's for dinner or do you need me to pick stuff up from the shops on the way home, but a text message that shows her that I care for her, that I'm thinking about her, that I think she's awesome, encouraging her with the kids or with the house or whatever it might be in her work as well. Um, if she gets a text message from me during the day, she knows that I've actually carved out some time to spend time on thinking about her. That's something that I can do that's simple and easy uh, to pursue her each day. Another way that I pursue her each day is that I make sure when I leave the house and when I enter the house, I do the same thing with my kids. I give her a kiss and a cuddle and tell her I love her and say goodbye. And when I come back, kiss and a cuddle, say, it's nice to be home. It's good to see you. How are you? What are we working on? Do the same with my kids. That connection point is so important. It's super important to show them that you're thinking about them, that you love them, that you care for them. And the physical touch releases those lovely endorphins that we all just absolutely like to, to have. Um, and so that's just pursuing your wife every day. And what it does is it keeps your connection alive. It keeps the love alive and, and flowing. Um, and so I encourage you lads, number one, keep pursuing your wife. Awesome. Number two is kind of similar, but this is more of a, a big picture. And that is, guys, continue to date your wives, okay? Nicole and I, we have uh, busy jobs and five kids. Crazy, I know, five kids. Uh, but we make date nights an absolute priority to what we do. For me, it's a time to get away, connect, talk about routine, find out how each of us are going, uh, and just enjoy time together. So what we try is at least four a year. As teachers, we get a bit more holiday time, so it's not too hard to do. What's hard for us is babysitting and finding people who are willing to take five, but we do have some incredible parents who will do that. Um, but they, they also, like, they're, they're so important in keeping your relationship strong and connected that we uh, will do whatever it takes to get them. Uh, and we encourage you to do the same. As a dad, lead that. What can you do to get dating your wives at least once a quarter. Uh, it gives you together something to plan for, which is pretty exciting. It gives you something to look forward to, and it gives you something to do that's really fun. Um, explain to your kids why date nights are so special for families, um, why it's important for your marriage. Explain to your kids that if mum and dad don't keep like best friends and, and close to each other, that the whole team can't flourish, okay? That it's really, really important and, and push that with them. Um, we have some friends who their date nights consist of Friday night in the second living room. The kids know they're not to come in. The kids cook their own dinner and they do that. That's an in-house one. You can have in-house date nights. It doesn't have to be a go out and get crazy, although they uh, seem to be fun. 
The other awesome thing of a date night is intimacy. All right, it's it's that opportunity uh, to reconnect intimately, physically, uh, and who doesn't love a bit of that? And uh, research shows that uh, all it takes is sort of once a week of intimacy for a happy relationship. Um, however, as guys, I know we'd like that to be more <laughs> for sure. Um, but yeah, pick date nights that allow you to reconnect uh, intimately, emotionally uh, together and to enjoy uh, being with each other. Uh, get a little creative, but you know, just make sure you don't end up in the back of a police car or something like that, but have a bit of fun with that and pursue how it was in the early days. Uh, so date nights are so important. We have another blog completely uh, around date nights. Feel free to go check that out, but that's number two, date nights. So number three, the last one to stay in the love boat, to stay as a grace field connected relationship is praying together and for your wife. There's nothing more powerful than pursuing God and pursuing your future together through prayer. We try to every single night to pray for each other. Uh, we, we like to pray for our kids. We like to pray for our finances. We like to pray for opportunities to bless others. We like to pray for our church and what's going on there and friends and everything really. We just wanna pray that we're in a good space with each other with, as a family and with God. Um, so prayer together and worshiping together as well, adding that in is, is super awesome and that will level up your marriage. In fact, some of the times where we've made the most incredible decisions as a family and Nicole and I have been on the right trajectory together and that we've seen accelerated growth in us and our family have been the times where we have been faithful to praying with each other. So, so get that into your marriage for sure. And the other thing is, is praying for your wife. Okay, praying for her is so powerful. I pray every single morning in the shower for my wife. I pray for my relationship. If there's things that I'm struggling with or that um, I feel like I need to talk to her about, I'll pray about those things before I jump in and do it and ask for God's wisdom. Pray for her every single day. And I've just written a simple prayer here that you can use. So if you want a pen and paper, write this down, put the, um, the captions on. Uh, it can be as simple as this. Dear Jesus, thank you for Nicole and the blessing she is to me. Thank you that she is a perfect woman for me and my family team. Lord, bless me with grace to love her like you love her and to pursue her each and every day. Guide us as we raise a family together and bless our intimacy together. I am a blessed man in Jesus' name. Amen. Start praying, start praying, start praying for her. Um, it's so powerful and so important. Um, so that's it guys. Three very simple things that you can do to, to boost your marriage, to keep you in the love boat, to keep pursuing each other strong. Uh, and I just think that as men, we can uh, really grow our families, we can lead our families, we can be a blessing to our families and, and, and grow strong families where there's strong marriages, strong kids, that we can grow up a generation that is going to bless this world in incredible ways and be world changers for the kingdom of God. And so I encourage you, uh, step up in your marriages and just be amazing men of God. Uh, if you want more, head to our website, www.gracefueledfamilies.com, and there's a five-day family insight guide in there. And one of the days is actually uh, set aside for date nights and intimacy and keeping your marriage relationship strong. So head over and check that out. Um, they'll just be emailed to you each and every day. Uh, but in the meantime, pursue your wife, take her on a date night, pray for her and with her. God bless, guys.